Good evening, everybody. Uh, sorry I wasn't in school today. I had some things I had to take care of. But what I wanted to do tonight for you, in, in every one of the classes, we introduced the ideal gas law. Uh, so I've got a homework sheet I want to give you guys tomorrow. And I wanted to go over at least one or two of them again just to let you do that. Right? Let's look at this first one right here. Now, this is different than the other gas laws in that uh, but it's also similar in that you've got to identify your variables. Here's how you can tell that it's an ideal gas law problem. If you read this, how many moles of a gas at 100 degrees C does it take to fill a one liter flask to a pressure of 1.5 atmospheres? At no time did you see anything about change, did you? Right? So we're not talking about change here. What we're talking about is just some variables that we've got to put in. None of those variables changed. So let's go ahead and put our gas law, ideal gas law up here, which is PV equal NRT. And let's identify our variables. It gives us a pressure, P equals 1.5 atmospheres. <clears throat> it also gives us, um, gives us our temperature. Right, let's do volume first, V equal one liter all right uh, it gives us a temperature but the temperature is in celsius and remember anything on gas whenever they give us a celsius degree temperature let's go ahead and go ahead and convert it right to kelvin so let's do that over here 200 uh what did it say 100 degrees c so whenever we have celsius we're going to immediately add 273 to it and that's going to give us Calvin. So it's 373 degrees K. Let's put that in. I'm going to use orange for that. 373K. So I've got that. I don't have my N. So what they're asking us for is the N or the number of moles. So that's going to be my question mark. The R will depend, and this is usually a given. This is, as I said in a couple of classes, the fudge factor for ideal gases, all right? So uh, we're gonna use the one for atmospheres because that's what they gave us in the problem. Um, <clears throat> there's one for atmospheres, one for joules if you're doing physics. There's one for millimeters of mercury. And I think, yeah, one class I actually derived where we got that, uh, the numbers from. So for atmospheres, our R value is 0 0.0821. The unit on that <clears throat> is atmospheres, liters, over um, moles per Kelvin. And that's really important if you look at the, at the formula. Let's go ahead and start subbing some stuff in. All right, so my pressure is 1.5 atmospheres, ATM. My volume, use the green marker, my volume is one liter. Okay, my N, my N, I don't know. My R value is 0, 0.0, that's times. Two one, and then my temperature is oh, it's gonna be hard to do, but we'll make it happen. 0.373. So if I do my algebra, I've got to divide through by 0 0.0821 times 373. That's what I did there. If I do it on one side, you know what I got to do here 0 0.0821 times 373 and if I do my math that will give me my moles let's do it oh and we did what we crossed eliminated those and we're good to go there let's get my handy dandy calculator clear it 1.5 times 1 and look what I can do I can just hit divide 0 8 2 1 and then I don't have to multiply that together. I can just hit divide again because it does work. 373. And my answer is 0 0.0489. And we're going to write that in. I need a blue one. 
n equals 0 0.0489 moles. And essentially, this is a plug and chug type thing. Let's look at um, let's look at this one because this number two is going to be real interesting because I've got to do two conversions here. Got to go back to first semester with a gram molecular weight. Let's go ahead and identify what we've got. Okay, I've got uh, let's see here. I got volume three liters. I've got uh, three kilograms of a liquid C3H8. Hmm. Kilograms. That's not in moles. So that means I'm going to have to convert grams to moles. We should remember how to do that. I'll do this over on this side. I'm going to wait on that. All right. Uh, I will use this and put N equals and just leave it blank just so I've got my stuff here. All right. How large can ever need to hold the same amount of propane? as a gas okay at 25 degrees C again what do we do 25 to 73 all right that would be 8 9 298 T equal 298 K and a pressure of 3 atmosphere Three atmosphere P. So that means my R value, all right, will be the same as we used above 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters mole. Okay, all right, it's looking for the N, what? N. In. So, okay, I got three kilograms, so let's go ahead and do that. So that's 3,000 grams of C3H8. Now, how many moles is that? All right, so we're going to use our molar mass, and that's going to be one mole C3H8. All right, so carbon is 12 in the periodic table, and I've got three carbons. H is 1 in the periodic table, and I have 8 hydrogens. 12 times 3 is 36 grams per mole. All right, and 1 times 8 is 8 grams per mole. 36 plus 8 would be 44 grams per mole. So I put 44 there. Grams, C3, H8. So this will give us our number of moles. Let's get our drastic calculator. All right, if I take 3,000, divide it by 44, that's going to give me 68.2 moles. So this is a sort of a tricky problem. It gave you a little bit more information than... Uh, what you really needed. All right, so we've got three kilograms and that's that many moles. We've got our temperature here given, right? And we've got our pressure. So really what I'm looking for is not the volume in five liters. I'm looking to see what at that temperature and pressure would the volume need to be. So that's my X or my question mark. Let's put our um, uh, formula out PV equal NRT now I'm going to plug the stuff in pressure 3 atmospheres volume I don't know use red for that my number of moles 68.2 Zero point zero eight two one times uh, temperature two ninety eight K. Just put times P 
because there's the 298k okay so I'm gonna have to divide through by three atmospheres to get the volume by itself got to do it on that side and I do so now my volume is black <laughs> move it over a little bit is 68.2 moles times 0 0.0821 all right and the unit for that of course would be moles k uh, yeah 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 atmosphere liters that's atmosphere liters over moles k and let's see why the unit's so important so there's my moles it cancels out there's my k it cancels out and I've got to put my K over here, and that's times 298K. So that unit cancels out. That gives me pressure per liter. I'm dividing through by the atmospheres in the numerator. So now that cancels out the atmospheres. So now that's just going to give me liters in my unit on the R value or the gas constant. So let's do our calculation. All right, well, let's see what we can see. All right, we'll clear it out. 68.2 times 0.821 times 298 divided by 3. And I get 556 liters of gas. All right, so my volume would be 556 liters. All right. So in other words, for that much propane, all right, at 25 degrees C and at three atmospheres, you're going to have a pretty big tank. Sort of cool. Some of these problems you've got to look through and you got to think about. That one was a little confusing. It gave you a little bit more information than what you needed. All right. So I'll do another one of these things um, on the ideal gas law. We'll call it ideal gas law two. Okay. And until next time, this is Coach Scott, and we'll see you tomorrow.